okay uh uh okay now uh yesterday we discussed about the correlation configuration of uh, terpenoids and uh, we also just started the structural elucidation of uh, terpenoids under that uh, uh, a alpha phenine okay this alpha phenine when it is isolated from uh, a pinene tree uh, it is found that it is a colorless uh, liquid having boiling point around 150 degree centigrade and uh, this uh, structural elucidation uh, work was carried out by two scientists uh, Valach and uh, Wagner more particularly and also in addition to Valach, Wagner and Bayer also he worked uh, on the structural elucidation of uh, alpha phenine. And here, uh, one thing you need to remember, whenever uh, the, the, this structural elucidation uh, uh, carried out during the 1998, that means in, oh, in those days, uh, uh, Okay, during uh, uh, during nineteenth uh, century. So, uh, what we have today? Today we have a sophisticated uh, instruments like high R, NMR, C thirteen, okay, HRMS, and all those things. But uh, those days uh, required to do a many experiments to conclude the structure. So that is the reason uh, it took. Uh, long time uh, to conclude the uh, structure more particularly structural elucidation so here uh, uh, during the structural elucidation of uh, alpha phenine i used to mention uh, some of the things in uh, molecular formula some of the things in uh, structural uh, in terms of uh, structural explanation why? Because sometimes uh, they will ask you in the examination in terms of uh, structural elucidation since we know the structure of the alpha phenine. So that is the reason uh, 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 you may feel that some of the things will be in the molecular formula, some of the things will be in the uh, structural exp explanation in terms of structure. So, uh, right. So uh, 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 this, uh, when it is isolated, it is found a colorless uh, liquid and uh, having a boiling point around 150 degree centigrade. And uh, it occurs in plus forum and minus forum. Plus forum and minus forum means uh, it's a dextrorotatory. It uh, it occurs in as a dextrorotatory as well as uh, a levorotatory. Okay, and uh, dextro and levorotatory is the experimental uh, phenomena, optical uh, activity, optical rotation, plus is the optical rotation, minus is the optical rotation. And then molecular formula is found to be C10H16. So once you know the molecular, how you will come to know that molecular formula? So when this uh, 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 isolated one, uh, subjected to a CHN analysis. CHN analysis will give you the carbon uh, uh, certain percentage, hydrogen certain percentage. Okay, then using that you have to find out the empirical formula and then the molecular formula. Once you know the molecular formula, what you can say that you know that uh, what is called as um, uh, alkane general molecular formula cnh2n um, plus 2 as per cnh2n plus you supposed to have a more number of hydrogen so here you can find the less so as per chn uh, general uh, uh, molecular formula for uh, alkane uh, c10 h22 uh, okay so that means how many hydrogens are less here so here uh, it's around uh, what is called as uh, uh, four, six hydrogen less. Suppose uh, this mighty is a bicyclic, then two, hydro two hydrogen less. That means it should have a 
ट्वेंटी हाइड्रोजन सपोज टू प्रेजेंट फॉर ए सैचुरेटेड वन सो इन आर्डर टू फाइंड दैट अनसैचुरेशन इंडेक्स दट इज थ्री एंड जनरल फार्मूला फॉर फाइंडिंग अवट ए अनसैचुरेशन इंडेक्स सो दट इज कॉर्बन माइनस हेच बै टू प्लस एन बै टू प्लस वन इज ईक्वल टू so you know that carbon 10 is there that is 10 minus hydrogen 16 is there 16 by 2 plus 1 do there is no nitrogen that is the reason no need of doing n by 2 then what you will get so uh, this will be uh, 3 okay so 3 what it indicates and for the uh, if suppose if this is a bicyclic uh, compound then the molecular formula should be uh, c10h18 then what it means it means that uh, what is shortage of four hydrogen to meet the saturation uh, saturated compound of alkene for uh, 10 carbon containing one it means that it may have two double bond isn't it right so uh, one is bicyclic that will be nothing but a two uh, uh two hydrogens and another uh, should be one double bond so four so four plus 18 it should be uh, h22 so what it means it means that it may, alpha pinein may contain one hydro uh, one double bond and alpha pinein may be a double bond may be a bicyclic compound so by just by looking into the unsaturation we can conclude that uh, alpha pinein may contain one double bond it may it may be the bicyclic uh, compound so with this uh, i will go to the next slide so next slide you can uh, this is the uh, molecular formula of alpha pinein when alpha pinein is uh, treated uh, with uh, catalytic hydrogenation so you there is a uh, operators uh it's called uh, power shaker operators and also uh, one uh, one more operators called autoclave okay so using that one can do a, a catalytic hydrogenation so what is that operators means it will show you the how, how much kg of hydrogen is consumed by the reaction so uh, using that one can measure uh, the Uh, consumption of hydrogen uh, suppose uh, if this is consumed say one uh, and uh, when the alpha pinein is subjected to catalytic hydrogenation it is found that it consumes one mole of hydrogen i think you are aware about the mole isn't it so mole means uh, so suppose hydrogen hydrogen means what is the molecular formula molecular formula of hydrogen is one isn't it so then what is the molecular weight of uh, uh, alpha pinein so if you want to find the molecular weight 10 into 12 uh, plus 16 into 1 that will give you the molecular weight so if you are taking 1 gram of alpha pinein 1 gram divided by this molecular weight will give you the mole of this one so that will be the if you are taking that is that will be the uh, mole then equivalent equivalent to that you have to take the hydrogen weight okay since it is a gas of course it is possible to measure in terms of ga gas uh, when we are using a power shaker operators or a, what is called as autoclave okay so what it means uh, we can note down or the measure the quantity of hydrogen consumes so when this experiment is performed it is found that it consumes one mole so what it indicates that it in, it it consumes one mole and convert c10h16 to c10h18 so uh, it mean that means it does not consumes any further quantity that means it contains only one double bond in it so this uh, experiment proves that uh, it alpha pinein is having a double bond in alpha pinein so then one more reaction okay so the this uh, presence of double bond may be, may be again confirmed by doing a 
uh, a reaction called bromination suppose a double bond is there means it should uh, react with the bromine convert into a dibromo compound so up to this what we concluded we concluded that uh, uh, alpha pinene is a bicyclic compound okay and then it is having one double bond okay so then uh, another uh, set of reaction so here uh, uh, alpha pinene uh, is uh, treated with uh, nocl nocl means nitrosyl chloride this is uh, nitro uh, nit uh, no means uh, what we can say that uh, nitric oxide but when we are saying the name of this compound is nitrosyl chloride so uh, uh, again here i am saying about no is in the plus form means positive form uh, means positive charge on the nitrogen cl will have a cl minus so what it means it is nothing but a addition of uh, no cl to a double bond so then what will obtain the obtained one is called alpha pinene nitrosyl chloride as the major product in addition to this pro major product it is also found that uh, one compound called uh, C16H16O and uh, it is named as a pinal and uh, uh, it is found that this is forms in a lesser quantity. So this is about uh, one reaction carried out. Then with this, I will uh, go to the next slide. Anyway, this explanation in terms of structure, I will take it later. Before that, a uh, few more things I need to explain so that is uh, here one more uh, uh, what is this it's a alpha pinene isn't it so look here c16 uh, h16 it should be 10 no c10 h16o okay this should be 10 only okay mm, what i will do i will uh, maybe you mark it uh, this has a 10 okay so c10 is 16 o that means what it means a, a minor product a less quantity product uh, obtained one is uh, carried out a few more reaction as uh, i will discuss in the next class this this is the s yes, c10 is 16 o it's a pinal pinal is the byproduct obtained uh, uh, when an alpha pinene is treated with uh, nitrosyl chloride that byproduct when it is subjected to bromination it is found that a dibromophenol is obtained how it is found if bromine color is disappears means definitely there will be a reaction and the obtained one is dibromophenol this uh, dibromophenol when it is treated with lead uh, hydroxide what it will do it replaces the br and the obtained one is called uh, pinal glycol and this glycol on oxidation i think you know that uh, glycol oxidation maybe any one reagent called uh, hydrogen peroidate okay or lead acetate can be used to cleave the glycol and the obtained product is uh, a compound is having a cyclic ester and also it is having a carboxylic acid and this compound is named as a terphenylic acid so the obtained compound when it is treated with uh, functional group okay qualitative analysis it is found that it is an acyclic ester and it is also found that it is having a carboxylic acid and this was the structure proposed for the terpene like acid then uh, one more thing uh, 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 uh that time alpha terpenial was the known compound this alpha terpenial when it is subjected to bromination uh, it is found that a dibromo compound like this similarly this dibromo compound when it is treated with base okay so uh, when it is treated with base you know that uh, uh, what is happening uh, there may be abstraction of proton and that proton can uh, the bond pair can come over here and this will go out there is a possibility of forming a double bond here okay and the formed double bond 
can move over here this will go out so what it means there will be a positive charge formation here so that time the lone pair present on the hydroxy group can form a bond here so that is how a pinyl glycol is obtained okay so once the pinyl glycol is obtained so this on the oxidation more particularly came on for oxidation it's a strong uh, uh, oxidizing agent what it will do it will convert uh, a double bond into uh, glycol later on that glycol itself react with kmno4 so what it will do it will form a, a ketone here and it will convert this uh, carbon into carboxylic acid so that's what i have written here now uh, what is happening so this carbon is same this carbon as well as this carbon is same but uh, this carbon is gets converted into carboxylic acid and there will be a breakage like this okay this part will go out that means acetic acid will go out and this carbon is gets converted into ketone so that is how a terpenic acid terpene like acid is obtained and uh, it is compared that the compound obtained uh, terpenic acid from the alpinal and also from the uh, alpha terpenial so it is found that both are same and uh, uh, during this period one more scientist called uh, 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 here i will make uh, z and k as a, a silent then uh, uh, flavage c uh is reported in uh, 1879 uh, what he reported is reported that alpha phenyl when it is treated with sulfuric acid it gives alpha terpenial so one more scientist in uh, 1875 is reported that alpha phenyl on treating with sulfuric acid so it gives alpha terpenial so what it means so suppose alpha phenyl is giving alpha terpenial means definitely alpha phenyl should have a dimethyl group should have a six membered ring in it isn't it so that's what the conclusion so uh, there should be a six membered ring in alpha phenyl there should be a gem uh, gem methyl group okay suppose two methyl group is attached to one carbon means uh, gem methyl group should be present and wha uh, what is the one more thing also there should be a presence of double bond okay so this is what the conclusion uh, uh, made after uh, looking into the results of uh, flavage c uh, he was when he was reported in 1879 about the alpha pinene experiments so then uh, is also given for the uh, mechanism for the conversion of alpha phenyl to alpha terpenial so uh, then uh, the mechanism uh, uh, this uh, uh, explanation in terms of structure here i am taking a structure so what will happen this bond pair will come over here and this bond pair picks up this proton so sulfuric acid means it's nothing but act as a source of proton so what will happen the obtained compound is like this and this will come out here as a positive charge then what will happen here uh, water okay present in the uh, source okay uh, reaction media it will attack a carbocation a forming a alpha terpenial so this is about the probable mechanism so what it means uh, so at this moment what we can say that alpha phenyl is having a six membered ring uh, moiety it also having a gem methyl group it also having a double bond in it okay up to this uh, uh, can be noted as uh, alpha phenyl is having a six membered ring it is having a gem methyl group and it is having a uh double bond and one more thing also so during the uh, uh unsaturation index calculation it also includes that the alpha pinene is a bicyclic compound so now what we need to do 
so with this i will go to the next slide so next slide is about the ex uh, explanation in terms of uh, how the terpenic acid uh, formed okay more particularly explanation of terpenic acid formation in terms of structure so alpha phenin is there this alpha phenin gives an intermediate so uh, where, how how this will give you information uh, intermediate so when it is treated with nitrosyl chloride as i mentioned that uh, no is in positive form means cationic species cl is the anionic species as usual this bond pair can come over here why it is coming over here to get rid of the uh, strain because four membered ring is a strained molecule so then uh, this bond pair can over here and this bond pair picks up this no so that is how a compound formed like this okay and then so this can attack a water moiety present in a reaction media so the lone pair present on the oxygen can attack here and form a, a, a derivative okay nitrosyl uh, alpha terpenal derivative is obtained so at this moment the lone pair present on the oxygen can attack this carbon and this uh, this bonded pair will go over here no will go out okay so this is what happening in presence of base so so here the base is sodium methoxide what's its role its role is to uh, capture this proton once uh, a, a, a sodium methoxide captures this proton the byproduct is methanol it will go out and the anion part or the lone pair can react here and this bond pair can come over here and this will go out okay so that is how a compound pinene glycol is obtained so this one when it is treated with bromination this double bond react with bromine giving a dibromo compound this dibromo compound when it is treated with uh, what is called a lead hydroxide means this replaces the br with oh a glycol is obtained this is only pinyl glycol pinyl glycol this on oxidation kmno4 or uh, pyruvate oxidation so uh, initially uh, here ketone will come and here carboxylic acid uh, carboxylic acid will come over okay and later stage uh, there will be a cleavage methyl uh, 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 methyl and uh, carboxylic acid will go out so this carbon is gets converted as a ketone that's what uh, i have mentioned here so this is how the terpenic acid is obtained from the alpha pinin and this is explanation in terms of structure so sometimes they will give you uh, the alpha pi what happens alpha pinene when it is treated with the uh, nitrosyl chloride uh, okay if it is a five marks question or four marks question you have to explain up to this otherwise explain terpenic acid the formation starting with alpha pinene okay then also you have to explain up to this so then uh, sometimes they will ask you what app okay that i will uh, discuss in the next slide so with this i will go to the next slide uh, so uh, here uh, uh, okay so as we discussed uh, during the molecular formula so that time we mentioned that uh, alpha pinene may be a bicyclic compound so one we are familiar that is a six membered ring other should be the we need to find it so the possibility for the uh, bicyclic compound uh, six membered plus three membered six membered plus three membered and six membered plus four membered okay the, these three are the possibility for the structure of alpha pinene and again uh, you need to look into that these two compounds okay uh, three uh, six membered and three membered compound uh, when it is treated with uh, uh, sulfuric acid uh, uh, these two should give uh, uh, alpha pinene but these two does not give alpha pinene because uh, 
uh, it will form a some other compound whereas this one uh, uh, six membered and uh, four membered bicyclic compound only is able to give the uh, alpha terpenial how it will give as usual when it is treated with hcl this bond pair come over here this bond pair picks up proton a cation is formed water will attack a terpenial is obtained so that is the reason uh, what it indicates it indicates that alpha phenyl should contain a bicyclic compound and uh, 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 two uh, rings should be four membered and the six membered but not the six membered and three membered ring suppose if you are treating this uh, mighty with h plus what will happen uh, you know that uh, this can picks up a proton so where it will picks up it should picks up a proton here so then this will come over here so that means it will give you the uh, monocyclic uh, compound but not uh, but not the formation of alpha terp uh, terpenial okay higher homologous uh, 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 rings are possible in uh, six membered three membered ring uh, whereas with uh, six membered four membered ring of alpha phenyl it is possible to form a alpha terpenial when it is treated with hcl in presence of alcohol that's what you need to uh, remember based on this we can conclude that uh, this shows that there is a presence of four plus two membered rings in alpha phenyl so up to this we know that alpha phenyl is having a six membered ring it is having a double bond it is having a gem methyl group and it is also uh, the bicyclic uh, rings are six membered and the four membered one now with this i will uh, go to the next slide next slide this is one important as far as the examination is concerned they will ask you what happens when alpha phenyl is treated with alkaline kmno4 okay so then you can write this uh, sequence okay suppose if they are asking what happens when alpha phenyl is treated with uh, alkaline kmno4 explain in terms of structure means you can write the next slide uh, answer so now here i am giving it in a in terms of molecular formula so when an alpha phenyl is treated with uh, kmno4 why should treat with the kmno4 to find out uh, the structural elucidation so here uh, 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 what will happen uh, uh, we know that up to this uh, alpha phenyl is, uh, is having a double bond that double bond should react with the kmno4 so then what will happen uh, 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 alkene when it is treated with kmno4 it should give a glycol means all two alcohol adjacent carbon should have a hydroxy group that is called glycol what will happen alpha pinene when it is treated with alkaline kmno4 it gives uh, pinene glycol so this on heating on heating what will happen glycol itself react with kmno4 and giving rise to one should be keto carbo keto acid another should so keto, uh, keto acid is obtained so this keto acid how you will come to know that keto acid so maybe by the, by doing a qualitative analysis so suppose this compound is giving answer for the carboxylic acid functional group and also the ketonic functional uh, groups then we can say that this compound is a keto uh, carboxylic acid uh, suppose a keto is present means again you one should confirm that whether it is a methyl ketone or aryl ketone or alkyl ketone so in order to find out whether the pine, uh, pi, pinonic acid is uh, methyl ketone it was treated with uh, sodium hypobromide this is the name of this compound is called sodium hypobromide i think you are aware about the haloforum reaction this is nothing but a haloforum reaction what it means haloforum reaction haloforum reaction means reaction of a methyl ketone in presence of bromine and sodium hydroxide 
So bromine and sodium hydroxide leads to the formation of hypobromide. That, that hypobromide reacts with the methyl group of the ketone and uh, it will, uh, there will be a uh, formation of uh, methyl bromide. Is it methyl bromide or haloforum? So there should be a formation of haloforum or uh, methyl bromide. It should be haloforum only. So haloforum means this three should come over here, not here. CHBr3 means bromoforum is obtained. The formation of bromoforum indicates that the uh, the methyl present over here is as a methyl ketone. So then uh, after that, the pinic acid is obtained. That pinic acid, when it is treated with bromine, there is a color changes. So that means it's reacting. And uh, when the dibromo, obtained dibromo is treated with the barium hydroxide, there is a reaction. That means bromine is replaced with OH. And the obtained one is oxidized using a uh, lead oxide. So what is the compound obtained? The compound obtained is the having the molecular formula CH12O4. So when this is subjected to uh, uh, qualitative analysis, it is found that it is a dicarboxylic acid. So what it means? It means that dicarboxylic acid means what you should remove. You should remove uh, two times CO2H. So that means CO2H two times you have to remove. And uh, one more thing, we know that alpha pinene is having a dimethyl group. You can remove the dimethyl group, CH3, two times. Then what is left over? The leftover one is C4H4. So C4H4 means it should be a a four-membered ring, more particularly cyclobutane. So that is the reason uh, the structure of cis nor pinic acid, uh, the dicarboxylic acid, its structure may be this one. Okay, uh, this is how the uh, cis nor uh, pinic acid is obtained when alpha pinene is treated with alkaline KMnO4 followed by aloforum reaction okay right so now i will take uh, explanation this one in terms of structure so this is explanation in terms of structure so i am taking a alpha finin uh, this is the alpha finin so alkaline kmno4 means it will react with this double bond forming a glycol oh here oh here so this OH uh, glycol react with KMnO4. Uh, it's an oxidizing agent. Uh, this also, you can also write the mechanism for this. You can also write the mechanism for this. So what will happen? Uh, the, there will be a breakage of this bond, the bond between this carbon and this carbon. When there is a breakage of this bond, this convert into a methyl ketone. This is a methyl ketone. Methyl keto group and this carbon is gets converted into carboxylic acid that's what i have written it is a keto carboxylic acid this is a keto and this is the carboxylic acid so then what will happen so this are treated with haloforum reaction haloforum reaction means this ch3 is gets converted into uh, haloforum means chbr3 that means uh, bromo forum uh, bromoform more particularly and uh, uh, forms a COOH group. Now, now also it's a dicarboxylic acid. So then uh, this dicarboxylic acid, when it is treated with bromine, okay, what will happen? You know that uh, this proton, this proton, it gets uh, brominated. Of course, uh, this proton also gets brominated. Then uh, when it is treated with barium hydroxide, so uh, barium hydroxide is a base, okay? What will happen? Uh, uh, since there is a bromine here, there will be a removal of uh, 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 bromine is replaced with OH. So here also bromine is replaced with OH. When it is treated with lead oxide, so there will be a cleavage, there will be a removal of this carbon dioxide and converting this carbon into carboxylic acid. 
so that is how cis norpinic acid is obtained and its structure is this one so this is about the explanation of uh, uh, formation of cis norpinic acid from alpha pinein when it is treated with the uh, alkaline kmno4 so uh, with this uh, i will so now uh, i will go for the next slide so next slide will give you uh, how what it indicates that uh, uh, with this result it it indicates that alpha pinein is having a four membered ring isn't it so previous the formation of alpha terpenial when an alpha pinein is treated with h plus uh, indicates that uh, alpha pinein is having a six membered ring isn't it so then uh, here when an alpha pinein is treated with k mano4 it indicates that uh, it indicates that there is a formation of uh, uh, cis norpinic acid it's a four membered ring so uh, by all these results what uh, one can conclude uh, one can conclude that alpha pinein is having a six membered ring alpha pinein is having a double bond alpha pinein is having a dimethyl group alpha pinein is having a four membered ring so that means alpha pinein is a bicyclic compound uh, one is six membered other one is four membered alpha pinein is having a dimethyl group alpha pinein is having a double bond so then how uh, we can conclude this so we can conclude just by preparing or synthesizing uh, this uh, cis norpinic acid and comparing uh, uh, synthesized uh, characterization with uh, uh, cis norpinic acid which is obtained from the alpha pinein so for this uh, we need to go for a synthesis of cis norpinic acid so here uh, the cis norpinic acid this was uh, given by ruzuka in uh, 1920 and uh, rao so what it means you can observe that uh, uh, now we are in the uh, we are discussing about the results of which is published in the 1920 so the structural elucidation of alpha pinein it is started in the uh, uh, which here so you can just i uh, will go back and check look here so the year 1884 so what it means 1884 to 1920 uh, it means that 16 plus 36 years it took 36 years to conclude the structure of alpha pinein so that's what i have to mention so now uh, the synthesis ah uh, right i will go for the next one ah uh, okay so the synthesis uh, 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 of uh, cis norpinic acid it was given by ruzuka uh, yeah, and rao in uh, 1920 so they took acetone i think you know that acetone is a simple uh, solvent it is uh, readily available commercially available uh, and this acetone is treated with uh, a compound okay called melanonitrile name of this compound is called melanonitrile ha then what will in presence of base in presence of base means here there will be a formation of anion that anion can attack here so then what will happen there will be a formation of oh that oh also again one more equivalent of uh, melanonitrile attack here and forming a uh, uh, two bonds okay what it means uh, here there is a possibility of two bonds the one bond between the uh, one melanonitrile and this carbon another bond with one more melanonitrile and this carbon then afterwards uh, since this reaction is carried out in presence of base so the base can react with this nitrile group and uh, when it is reacting with this nitrile group so there will be a possibility of going out uh, ammonia as a by product and there will be a formation of a six membered ring uh, compound like this 
and uh, this particular reaction not not only uh, uh, what it means a, a, a carbon electrophile a carbon electrophile when it is treated with active methylene group so these kind of reactions are highly reactive these reactions can be occurred even at 0 to 5 degree centigrade so just by combination of these two uh, it is possible to form a compound like this okay and then what will happen so once the compound is obtained here uh, i think you learned no so what is that there will be a new bond formation between this carbon and this carbon of one molecule and one more molecule of melanonitrile also react with then afterwards what will happen the base will open the nitrile group so that time one more uh, nitrile group also opened that means uh, it will convert uh, nitrile into CONH2. That NH2 react with the uh, another CO of one more uh, amide. So that is how a, a, a six membered ring uh, uh, compound is obtained. So then what will happen? Uh, it is treated with base and uh, an electrophile called uh, uh, diazomethane. This is not diazomethane. It should be methyl hydride. This is not a diazomethane. You can take it as a methyl hydride. Methyl hydride means CH3 I. It's a electrophile. Then what is this? Uh, it's a base. So what it will do? Uh, OK, so what I will do? I will uh, correct it here a little bit. I will go for a presentation mode. So here, uh, I will take a pencil. So this is not there. This methyl group is not there. OK. This methyl group is not there. So that means, uh, and uh, one more correction here. This should be methyl, OK? And one more correction here. This uh, 2 is not there. OK? So this much correction is required for this. So now I will go back to uh, non-presenting mode. Right. So now, uh, uh, this methyl group is not there. This also methyl group is not there. So that means uh, this uh, uh, sodium methoxide, uh, this carbon and this protons are uh, methylene carbon and uh, methylene proton. And these protons are acidic in nature. Uh, and that uh, can be captured by base, forming an anion here that anion react with this methyl group. So that is how a dimethyl group is introduced to this carbon. Then what will happen? The obtained one is pinic. Yes, pinic acid. So at this moment, what will happen? Uh, uh, it was treated with OH minus. OH minus means base. OK? So now this base attacks this uh, uh, carbonyl carbon and forms a COOH. Similarly, this OH minus also uh, attack uh, this uh, carbon and there, uh, ammonia will go out and forming a acid. Here also acid, here also acid. So then what will happen? Two acids on heating gives to decarboxylation. And one more thing uh, I would like to mention. So when it is treated with OH minus, this uh, CN is gets converted into CONH2. Uh, and then later, 
COOH. That means uh, this CN is also gets converted into COOH. This CN also is gets converted into uh, COOH. So that means, uh, and one more thing you should remember that suppose any carbon, if it is attached a, a gem carboxylic acid group, such uh, uh, gem carboxylic acid groups undergo decarboxylation on heating, giving rise to monocarboxylic acid. So that is how a cis, that means this COOH will go out, this COOH will go out, this ammonia will go out, and this CN is gets converted into COOH, this CN is gets converted into COOH, that's what the product, and the product name is cis nar pinic acid and uh, uh, the melting point and the characteristic nature of this compound is compared with the uh, one which is obtained from the structural elucidation more particularly alpha pinene when it is treated with alkaline k manophore and it is found that both are same that is the reason and the structure of uh, uh, alpha pinene is concluded as the alpha pinene is having a six membered ring. It is also having a four membered ring, since it's called a bicyclic compound, and it is having a dimethyl group, and it is having a double bond in it. So, this is what the uh, this is how the structural elucidation done by uh, 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 three scientists. Okay, uh, this is about the structural elucidation of uh, pinene. Okay, now tell me, do you have any doubt in uh, structural elucidation of uh, pinene, alpha pinene? No, sir. No, okay. Okay, maybe uh, if I'm taking, uh, uh, is it okay for you if I'm taking one more uh, structural elucidation that may, uh, that may take nearly another uh, 30 to 40 minutes? Is it okay? Otherwise, uh, I can take it on next class. Next class you take, sir. Okay, fine. No problem. So now I will uh, uh, I will stop uh, sharing. Uh, I will stop presenting.